Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Build at Home. I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper. And today I'm super excited to be chatting with Hannah Zeal, who plays the young Kate on This Is Us. She's here to talk about the show and some new music she's cooked up during her social distancing. Uh, but before we bring on Hannah, I want to remind you guys to visit the website nokidhungry.org. Org. Uh, as of today, 806 million school meals have been missed due to school cancellations because of COVID-19. And there are a lot of kids and communities who rely on that food. So if you're looking for some ways to get involved, if you want to donate some money, visit nokidhungry.org. And now I want to welcome Hannah to Build at Home. Hi, Hannah. Hi. Hi, everyone. So where are you and, and how have the last couple of weeks been? Yeah, so I am quarantined at home in Los Angeles, um, born and raised. So it's been, you know, it's been a crazy, it's been a weird time. It's been a little scary. Um, I personally suffer with anxiety, so I know I've been a little anxious. But for the most part, I've been just trying to keep somewhat of a routine, but also be patient with myself and understand mm -hmm. that, you know, a pandemic is scary. and just trying to work on my mental health as much as my physical, wash my hands, but also, you know, keeping my mind in check by, I like to create art when I need an outlet. So I've been doing a lot of that. Yeah, I feel you. That patience thing has been very important because I feel like there's all this pressure to do stuff. And, and it's like, sometimes you have to be kind to yourself and just sort of be patient with the day and maybe you don't do anything and that's okay. You know, it's sort of like totally. checking in with yourself. Totally. I feel like, I think it's great that everyone wants to promote like productivity and keeping a routine. And I know that they say um, one of the keys to happiness is like having a routine and structure, but at the same time, you know, we have to remember that this is a scary time and it's okay for you to feel scared or for you to just want to kind of curl up and be lazy for the day. Um, you know, we need to be kind to ourselves. Absolutely. I have definitely curled up on the couch and, and watched a lot of stuff. This Is Us is always 100%. in rotation. Uh, you oh, guys yay. just recently wrapped up season four. Um, but what are you watching? Um, so I'm starting from the beginning of Breaking Bad. I had Ooh. watched some of it, but I never watched the whole thing in its entirety. And now all the seasons are on Netflix and I have a lot of time. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that right now. That's great because when you finish that, you can then go and watch Better Call Saul and just keep it rolling. Like you can stay oh, in that world. That's so true. Yeah. So you just have so much TV to watch. <laughs> okay, cool. Now I feel like I, I, um, now I'm like, before I had too much free time, now I'm like, I have so much to do. You have so much to so do. And then to watch. <laughs> for your This Is Us fam, have you talked to any of them or have you checked in and see how they're doing? Totally. Yeah. Um, Obviously, Niles and Logan and I are super, super close. We play um, triplets, and so we're close on and off screen. So I've talked to them almost daily. Um, I talked to Mandy because it was her birthday, so I messaged her. I talked to Milo. Um, I talked to Chrissy when her single came out. So yeah, That's actually, awesome. I've been in contact with a bunch of them. I always thought it was interesting too. Like during this time, have you watched any shows or movies with your castmates in them? Like, does that ever happen to you? Like you turn on a movie and you're like, oh. Um, yeah, I had, the only thing I'd seen was um, before I started the show, I'd seen A Walk to Remember. Um, that was like, I remember being at like a sleepover with a bunch of my girlfriends and they were like, we're gonna sit and watch this and cry together. And it was way before I had ever, been on the show and then now that I've been on the show I was actually getting my hair done and they were playing a walk to remember on one of the screens which was funny but um I've never seen Gilmore Girls but I think that's one that I'd like to venture into maybe you have so much good stuff to watch during this quarantine period you've never watched Gilmore Girls no I'm just not Ugh. a huge binge watcher I don't feel like my focus can like I watch a little <laughs> and then I kind of like have to get out of the hole so it takes me a while but now I have so much to watch. That's fair. That's fair. Well, you mentioned that um, you have some anxiety and that you use art to sort of help with that and process that. And, and part of that has been songwriting. You wrote a new song called An Ode to My Anxiety. So tell me um, just about the process of writing that and what you were inspired by. Yeah. Um, so I have made original music for 
a while. I've always kind of been into writing songs and I had like, you know, two songs done maybe a year ago, but I never released them because I'm an overthinker and I just never felt like they were ready to put out. So then during this time, um, the silver lining that I found in this pandemic was that I've had, you know, all the time in the world to focus on my music because I do have like a little setup at home to record. Um, so yeah, I had, um, my producer had given me a beat that was a little more up tempo and a little different of a vibe and I really loved it. But I remember just saying, you know, I feel really anxious today and that's just not my mood. I don't, so I don't want to be inauthentic. I, and I literally said, I don't feel like myself today. Cause I felt kind of down. And that's the first line of the song is sorry. I don't feel like myself today. So it kind of just, um, built from there. I just was, feeling anxious about everything that's going on and just drawing from the anxiety that I already s- suffered with. Mm-hmm. And I just felt like this was a good time to put this specific single out because I know that it can feel like a really isolating feeling when it's happening, mm-hmm. but so many people do feel the same way. And I feel like right now, especially people that don't usually feel anxious are anxious. Mm-hmm. So I just thought it was a good message to put out right now. How long have you been living with anxiety and trying to figure out how to deal with it in a positive way? Um, honestly, I feel like I've always had it. I didn't really know what it was when I was younger, though. But I just recently had family members tell me like about stories or memories they have of me at like 10 years old with like mm. behavior habits of being anxious. Um, I'm also a type 1 diabetic. So um, growing up with that. I had kind of fueled some of my anxiety because I had seizures and things when I was young that were a little Mm -hmm. traumatizing. So, but just, I would say in the last like two to three years is when I really kind of was able to be self-aware of what I was struggling with and be honest with myself and be able to be open with others about it because I had accepted it myself. And, um, I don't know, just trying to find whatever ways it is to cope because in the moment when you're panicked, you feel so irrational and so out of control that it's hard to find that that ground. And I think that it's been important for me to try to find that for myself and also help others find that. Yeah, I appreciate you talking about your personal experience. I mean, I think anxiety Mm -hmm. is something that impacts so many people. And sometimes there's still a stigma around it. So I think it's really empowering to not only speak about it, but to write about it in a song and sort of explore it uh, lyrically as well. That's really cool. Um, and did I read that, did your brother help you out too in making it? Yeah, so um, I, I recorded the vocals when there was just the piano, like that chord progression that you hear. And then once the vocals were laid down, my producer, GM Beats, he built the rest of the beat around my voice. And I heard it and I loved it, but... Um, I just felt like it still needed something a little more. And because this is so personal to me and my first release, I thought, you know, who better than the person that I look up to musically and um, that I'm closest to, my brother. So since we're quarantined, um, power of the internet, I just emailed it over to him and he played live guitar in it from his home where he's quarantined and then emailed it right back. And then we had the completed version. That's amazing. So if we want to hear that completed version, where can we hear that? Yeah, so it just released today. I'm super excited, but um, it's on all streaming platforms now. So wherever you stream your music or listen to your music, it's called Ode to My Anxiety, and you can find it there. Well, I can't wait to hear a little sample. I know you're going to sing for us, so I'm going to let you take it away. This is your show right now. (laughs) Okay. All right, we're going a cappella. So, okay, let's go. Sorry, I don't feel like myself today. Just give me till tomorrow and I'll be okay. Sorry, I just need a little time. Time for tears to dry, time for fears to die. Cause when I said I'm fine, It felt like a lie, 
I've been so far that I think I might break. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I got this baggage, it ain't going away. I'll be okay. 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 Sometimes I'm scared to go outside. I keep getting older, world keeps getting colder. That's what I realize. Sometimes I just need the chance to breathe, a chance to slow the time, chance to slow my mind. Cause when I said I'm fine, it felt like a lie. Been so far that I think I might break. I'm not sure how much more I can take. Got this baggage, it ain't going away. I'll be okay. 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 I'll be. I'll be okay. Yay! That was beautiful. Thank you. That is thank so, you. so beautiful. Thank you for sharing that with us. Oh, thank you. And I love that now I can go listen to it on repeat for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I hope you do. I hope everyone enjoys it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, so for the other you you guys listening and watching, uh, you just heard an ode to my ode to my anxiety, which is streaming now yes. on all musical platforms. Hannah, thank yes. you for writing it. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, it's been really fun chatting. Thank you so much. This was so fun. Yes, and please come back and visit us anytime and stay safe. I hope you and your family are healthy and and happy and healthy. <laughs> thank you. I'm sending health and love and light to you and to everyone and all your loved ones. And I hope that I'll get to come in in person when all of this craziness is done. Please. I am looking forward to it. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.